for all people experimenting with sound generators perhaps this could be uh, informative uh, in this video I want to show the effect from two important uh, electronic circuits the integrator and the differentiator they are uh, used in all kinds of uh, circ uh, electronic um, equipment but you can also use these circuits in sounds at first I want to show how the different uh, waveforms sound. At first the sine wave. This is no sine wave by the way. This is how a sine wave sounds. You can hear it's quite pure, like a flute. And the property from a sine wave is that it doesn't have a lot of harmonics. Um, this is how a square wave sounds. This waveform, square wave, and this is how a triangle wave sounds. This waveform, and on the scope you can see it, triangle wave. Uh, oh, I don't know. This is a triangle wave. Okay. Um, now we're going to demonstrate the integrator and the differentiator circuit. I have to do some switching when I do that, so perhaps it will go wrong, but uh, I will tell that. Um, this is the integrator circuit, how I've made it. 2K2 resistor, 100K potentiometer, and a 100 nanofarad capacitor for the integrator. This a resistor proved to be necessary to decouple uh, the integrator circuit here from the generator. If I didn't do that, the, um, the output resistance from the generator itself had influence on the waveforms and the way the integrator worked. And the same uh, applied to this circuit. This is also decoupled by means of this 2K2 resistor. This is the differentiator. Here you see the waveform in, waveform out for a differentiator. And here the waveform in and the waveform out for a integrator. But when you put in another waveform, there will also be another waveform at the output. Um, now I want to demonstrate it. This is the circuit on the breadboard. At first I want to show the square wave in at the integrator and the square wave how it looks like when it has gone through the uh, integrator circuit. This is the square wave in. Here you see the waveform. And now we connect the crocodile clip to the output from the integrator. And this is the way that the square wave has changed. You can also hear that it's, the level has gone down. It's normally normal. But this is the, the effect of integrating a um, square wave. And the sound has also changed a little bit. Demonstrate it again. In and out. It has a more soft sound. Now we put in, in the uh, integrator, a uh, triangle wave. So I'm going to demonstrate that. This is the waveform at the input. Go back to the scope now. Input triangle wave into the integrator, and now we're going to study the output. And you can hear that the sound has softened very much, and you can see that in the scope. In fact, it's more or less a sine wave. So we changed a triangle wave into a sine wave by means of this uh, integrator circuit. 
Now going to the next circuit is the differentiator that's here. Um, I have to remove the crocodile clip from the input to the integrator, imp to the differentiator input, and also the the output. This is a um, triangle wave on the input of the differentiator. It looks this way. And now we're going to study how the waveform looks like at the output from the differentiator. And this is the waveform. It, just, it hasn't changed very much. Turning now the potentiometer, you can see that it smoothens out a little bit. And now we're going to study what happens when we connect a square wave to the differentiator. This is the square wave at the input from the differentiator. Sounds a little bit sharp. And this is the square wave at the output from the differentiator. And you can see that it has uh, that it got sharp edges and peaks. And by changing the value from the potentiometer, you can also see that the waveform changes.